The first day of school is just around the corner. Join our acting superintendent, Mr. Chris Selmer, and ABC 27's Amanda Peterson for a special Harrisburg School District update on Good Day PA. Welcome back as the Harrisburg School District prepares to welcome back students for the 2020-2021 school year. The district wants to highlight two remote learning options as well as other back to school housekeeping items. One of the remote options is the Harrisburg Virtual Learning Academy. Harrisburg School District's acting superintendent, Mr. Chris Selmer, is here to elaborate. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. As we were talking about in the break, there is a lot to talk about here. Uh, let's start, though, with the Harrisburg Virtual Learning Academy. What is that? How does it work? So it's a, we call it our option B, and it's an option for families that need what we'll call asynchronous instructional models. So that they need more flexibility during the day, uh, if they have to assist their child's learning and they would need to do that more in an evening schedule with uh, less in, with no in-person instruction, mm -hmm. uh, with more flexibility. That's where Hasbro Virtual Learning Academy really would come in. And, and during this time, it's been a trying time for our families and we wanted to provide different learning options as we prepare to start the school year on the 31st. It's really nice that you're offering that flexibility because a lot of families need it. There's another remote learning and uh, talk about the pathway to classroom instruction. Yes, so that pathway will start 100% remote, but it is an in-person as well as an asynchronous learning model. So those students that are in option A will have live in-person instruction as if they were in classrooms beginning August 31st. They will be on a regular schedule as if they were in brick and mortar uh, instructional setting and we did that because we want to again to provide that option because for our, our especially our younger learners we believe that's an option that will better suit their learning needs remotely but then it also allows us the flexibility when we're ready to transition that we move our students back to brick and mortar and they'll be and hopefully in a nice routine as far as their day and how their learning will be done. Yeah right in step there when you go back inside. Um, what is the district able to do in terms of helping families have the tools that they need because remote learning we know a lot of technology is needed for that. Yeah so the district this week uh, we've been doing a major distribution rollout which actually started in the spring. We started distributing devices we were able to procure and secure a grant from the Pennsylvania Department of Education for $261,000, which helped us start that process. We then continued to purchase devices over the summer, and this week, uh, Monday through Thursday, from in the morning, uh, 8.30 to uh, around noon, and then well, there's about an hour and a half break, and then 1.30 to 3.30, we'll be doing distributions Monday through Thursday, and we'll also do distributions next week as well. The other initiative we've been working on is a partnership with Tri-County Community Action Plan to close the digital divide that exists in our community. So there'll be more information forthcoming around that opportunity, and then in the interim, all our buildings and their parking lots, the Wi-Fi will be active as of Monday during the day. So if student learners and their families would need to drive up to have access to uh, live Wi-Fi internet accessibility, they would have that uh, in the interim. And we're there to help support and answer any questions they may have during this very trying time. And it is a very difficult time for our families and that's why we wanna be on the ground to provide them as much support as we can. 